Urinary tract infection is common, particularly in females. Approximately 50% of all women experience at least one episode of urinary tract infection in their lifetime. It often occurs in a normal urinary tract in women. The condition is uncommon in males and children. If diagnosed, it is usually in an abnormal urinary tract. Urinary tract infection is commonly caused by a person's own bowel flora, which ascends the urethra. Shorter urethra in females makes the ascending infection more likely. The infection rarely transmits through bloodstream and lymphatics. Common organisms causing urinary tract infections include Escherichia coli, Proteus, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Enterococcus, Pseudomonas, and Klebsiella. Risk factors for getting urinary tract infections include female gender, especially after menopause, new sexual activity, especially in young females, urinary tract instrumentation, such as catheterization, urinary tract stones, diabetes mellitus, immunosuppression, dementia, and urinary tract stasis. Urinary tract infections can be divided into two according to the site of the urinary tract involved. Lower urinary tract infections involve the bladder and the urethra, whereas upper urinary tract infections mainly involve the kidneys, which is known as pyelonephritis. Symptoms of lower urinary tract infections include urinary frequency and urgency, painful urination, also known as dysuria, hematuria, or blood in urine, a sensation of bladder fullness, lower abdominal discomfort and suprapubic pain, and smelly urine. Patients with pyelonephritis may present with similar symptoms. Additionally, they will have a high-grade fever, which is associated with chills and rigors, night sweats, and loin pain and tenderness. Finally, patients with diabetes and immunocompromised patients may not have any symptom at all. Complications of untreated urinary tract infections include sepsis, acute kidney injury, and recurrence. Diagnosis of a urinary tract infection can be made with a combination of clinical features and laboratory studies. Common laboratory studies performed in suspected urinary tract infections include urine full report, urine culture, and full blood count. Additional tests include ultrasound kidneys, ureters, and bladder in pyelonephritis and suspected urinary tract stasis, and X-ray kidneys, ureters, and bladder to look for urinary tract stones. After making the diagnosis, antibiotics should be started empirically. Recommended antibiotics for lower urinary tract infection include trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, nitrofurantoin, and amoxicillin clavulinate. In addition, these individuals should be encouraged to take a plenty of fluids. For pyelonephritis, intravenous antibiotics should be given. These include astrionum, cefuroxime, ciprofloxacin, and gentamicin.